Good morning. Forecast is calm for another rainy day. Love the mountains. Gotta take the rain with the. Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. All right, it is a Wednesday today. Happy Wednesday to you. As you can see, it's super rainy here. We've got the rainy season of springtime. So we'll see. We've been had in between times during the day where it stopped for a little bit. We're like, yes, let's get out in it. But this is what comes with beautiful green lush land. So what are you gonna do? So I'm gonna get my coffee filled here. We're just gonna go with our day today. We'll see what we do. We'll just kind of go with the day. I know I'm gonna make food. The kids want omelets for breakfast. Not sure what we're doing for dinner, even though I have a plan. We'll see how it goes. Let's get coffee and your bun. Saw the city passing by my window. Was in the crowd, but I felt so alone. Looked at my phone like every other second. My future was blurry and numb. A tunnel where there's no light. Oh, but then you came and sat right next to me. Your eyes, they glowed and filled me up. We had never met before. All right, so I've got all my big cleaning done. That's all I'm gonna do. I've got a list for the kids to do when they get up. Um, we're gonna do, I got my school books. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do for summertime. I'll show you that in a little bit. What I'm gonna do now is get some breakfast going. We talked about having an omelet. So I'm just gonna put, um, probably cook all the toppings separately and then make the egg part separately and they can add in whatever they wanna add to it. I know I've got, we were making breakfast bowls, but I only use those once because we have too much food. So I'll use those ingredients for the inside of the omelet. All right, so I'm gonna mix up everything separately, just put in bowls and then make the egg circles in my skillet. And then the kids can just add whatever they want and put it in the microwave for a few seconds. So I just took out my sausage, I'm putting it over here in this pan with a little bit of water for the lid on it, just let it heat up. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever. Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool Fly cause I'm light as a feather 
See your face, I'm losing track of time and space. I don't know where I am. It's like I'm wasted, and I won't waste it. And I promise that I, I will stand by you forever. I can't get you out of my mind. All right, so I've got pretty much all the mixture done. I'm just waiting on these potatoes here. I made way smaller batches because we don't need all that. I just made three eggs per person. I've got enough sitting over here in plates and I've got the toppings and then I just think I forgot about this. This I think this was like five dollars from Walmart. Better than buying like five packets of gravy because we never eat all that gravy that they have in a packet. So this I can just make up as much as I need. So I just do two cups of cold water and about two thirds cup of mix. And just boil it. So that's it. And breakfast is gonna be done. <coughs> Lunch, we'll probably do leftover because we still have fried rice from yesterday and we have some lentils still. So we'll probably just do that for lunch. And dinner, I think I'm going to make up some soups and chicken sausage soup. And we have sliders from like two months ago in the freezer, so I think we're going to do that. All right, let me continue frying up these potatoes here. We're going to be done. I'll get my back and almost done so we're going to wash the floor. I will follow you wherever. Yeah. Delicious, easy breakfast. This is good. Took me, I don't know, half hour to cook it all up. So now everybody can eat. I have some leftovers so I can make some eggs tomorrow. I'm gonna get my mops going and wipe up the floors because they're gonna be smelling this breakfast and need to reckless. You make me breathless. And I won't waste it. And I promise that I said I I will stand by you forever and I won't waste it All right, 
So now everything is done for me. So now I'm gonna go get the kids up so they can come out and have breakfast, make their omelets. We'll just put them together how they want and put them in the microwave for just a couple seconds. That's it. We might sit and do some reading. Um, just a different time in my life right now. I might do a lot of their school later in the day, just depending on how the day goes. But I got all my summer review stuff, so it's pretty simple, straightforward. Just do a few pages each day just to kind of keep up on things. So I'll show you some of that here. All right, so the books that I got for this year, it's just gonna be at the end of their school year, and then we just kind of do a review. So I got the, it's, just, it's on my blog. You can go buy these on Amazon. But they basically just go through, um, this is a list of words every fifth grader should know. So we kind of go through and how have them say them to me, make sure that they can say them properly to me, things like that. They've got measuring, maps. Um, there is a lot of word problems, lots of writing because it's important to focus on writing as you hit into the middle school, a lot about um, sentence structure, just some different things they can do if they do a few pages each day. We also got the cursive handwriting practice and this is just to go through and practice writing because if we don't focus on it on the year that much it's good to do it through the summer um, the summer review for second grade they go through they go through the letters basically again writing words also reading words out loud practice reading them um, graphing skills like the correct words of the word two there's different math hands-on lessons letter E letter F they go through it all where they start and draw a picture they write a sentence with it in there Lots of English review, math review, math facts out loud so they can practice those. Um, different math things, spelling, filling in the hundreds chart. I think on the fifth grade they go through and do the, um, what is this? Let me see if I found it. Yes, the hundreds test, remember those? So they get those in there and they practice, not every day because they would be sick of it, but I'm pretty sure it's like once a week that they do that. Um, first grade goes through simple. They go through words, the difference. So we usually do a, like a list, and once they complete it, we mark it up and go on to the next one. Just something to go through. Easy. They do a lot of writing, a lot of math problems. I mean, not a lot, just a little. Just give them something that's simple. Like here's the letter S. Practice this letter. What is the sound? Now draw me five objects that begin with this letter. Simple, something they can do by themselves why mom is busy doing something else. Math facts out loud because those are important to do. So we'll do a lot of that review for the summer along with reading. I like the, this is, um, who is this? Pathway Publishers, Amish. I like these simple, easy readers. Kids like these stories. All my older kids read these books. These are good to do. We do our devotionals as well each day. Um, I still have mazes and crossword puzzles. So I'm gonna use those up and throw those pages in. But just gives the kids something to do besides watching their tablet all day long or my mom's busy, that's what I do. I also got a magazine from grandma, so I need to, actually it's Lawrence, but I'm gonna go through and if I see any good recipes, this is cute. Um, just take a picture and save it on my laptop. Sometimes I never use them, sometimes I do, but I like to look through them, so. That's it, this is here. I'm gonna put my wiper blade paint from my car. I can put that on today because my wiper got hit by a tree. So I looked at it, I'm like, oh, it's just a bolt. I think I can do this. So we're gonna try to put this on today too. So, all right, let me go get kids up now because the floors are dry. They can come walk on them and then we're gonna have a great day. All right, so we had breakfast, delicious, so good. I had one leftover I made for Greg when he gets up, and then um, I just had a little bit of leftover, so I'm like, okay, not too much, still a little bit, we get thrown into something when we gather fragments this week. So kids are gonna do chores. I mean, while they're working chores, I'm getting the stuff off the wall here. It's what you do.
right, so it's good to clean up those vacuums every once in a while. I usually have it on my um, schedule to clean them out once a week. The girls usually do that, and they do fine, but they just do as kids do. I mean, teenagers just whatever. So I like to get in here and I like to clean out. That's why there's a bunch of hair still. Really clean out, really, really good. Wash everything. Um, they give you usually a vacuum gives you like a tool like this. It's okay, but I find like this works good for hair because we have girls, we have lots of hair. Hair gets stuck all around the edges here. I got on my finger hair gross. And um, it's hard to get off. So if you clean the vacuums out, wash the filters, they're gonna last a whole lot longer than if you don't. If you don't have a robot vacuum, do it to your regular vacuum because the more you do, the longer it's gonna last. Do not do if you got a toddler and you have to vacuum later on the day because it will not dry, especially when it's pouring rain outside. So for me, I can just use my little um, cordless vacuum. That's fine. I won't have to worry about having these dry until probably Friday. So these are going to be harder to dry. So leave these out. What I'm going to end up doing is after the water's kind of dripping out, I put some essential oil on it because I did orange. It smells good. When um, they're kind of done being soaked, soaked, they will, you can put it like in your windowsill and then let them dry out a little bit. But that's another way to extend the life of your appliances. Always clean them out. So I'm just going to wipe off the other part of the vacuum. And then um, that's done for you. And our list is getting finished, which is awesome. All right, so I'm going to go wipe those off. All right, so we've been doing our school review, all that good stuff this afternoon. It's like one, I had to go through and paint a few things. I got you guys' recommendations on my wall hanging, so I'm like, hmm, I got some things I need to do. So, but I need to head to the shop and get some supplies, which I'll do maybe later. So what I'm gonna do, kids haven't even eaten lunch yet. They're not even hungry, it's 1.15. So I pulled out fried rice from yesterday and lentils. And so I'm gonna heat that up too. You want lentils, two you want fried rice. And then what I'm gonna do is dinner. So it's gonna be the, um, I had tomato soup this week, but I have ingredients to use up. Like we never made our burgers and fries. So I still have these all cut up. So I'm gonna chop these up for soup. Um, gather a fragment of soup. I have a little bit of peas and carrots here. There's onion, I got celery and carrots like this that I'm gonna chop up, put in here and I've got chicken sausage. So I'm gonna chop this, I'm just gonna do one small pack. So I make a little small pot of soup and then I pulled out of my freezer sliders. These have been in there for a few months, sliders. I'll pull this out, probably put them in the air fryer since my oven is not working. Might do it on the grill, but it's raining, so we'll see. So I'm gonna chop up some stuff and add to my soup. All right, we're gonna just saute this in here and then um, I'm gonna chop up the potatoes a little bit tinier for soup along with the chicken sausage. Sauteed that really good, so I'm gonna add in my potatoes. And I probably should get some water in here quickly. We're gonna gather fragments. I'm gonna put some peas and carrots in here. I have about half a bag from my um, fried rice, and I'm gonna chop up some spinach. Maybe frozen enough. Let's see. I might be able to grab it out of the bag. I just kind of like squeeze it in. All right, so inside here, I just put some chicken bouillon in there and I'm just gonna let it boil, put the lid on it, and this will be it. And then I'll add some heavy cream to it when it's all done. Just let it boil and simmer. It's gather your fragment soup, delicious. I did was I washed all the blankets from the living Maxine you feel the heat she whenever she feels clothes look at she's like she's gonna notice her blanket clean mama 
Usually she likes to come on anything warm. As soon as she hears the dryer, she runs to the dryer. Hoping I'll put towels on. Oh, she doesn't want to stay in my kids are eating, that's why. So I washed all their blankets, put them in the basket, just because I haven't washed them for a while. So kids are eating up lunch and we're gonna finish up some more school. The soup is heating up and we're going with our day. Gotta put these away. All right, so now what I did is I went in my freezer. I have one of these. I made this soup this month. This was just a fragment gathering. It's not gonna be. I could have just heated these up, but they're kind of more pureed in this one. So I'm actually gonna put this whole chunk, look right here, whole chunk right here, in the soup. So then it's got the new soup along with the old soup without it going, oh, it's leftover soup. See how you do that? And then I'll just stir that in there, mix it up, because I have a couple of those in my freezer. That's just how you use up your fragments. So that's actually got tomatoes in it. And then um, I think that has kielbasa in it a little bit. So this will heat up in here. And like I said, we're just gonna add the heavy cream to it, so that's easy. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go do some school. Let this simmer. All right, so my soup is all good. Look at, nice and stirred. See, adding that other batch in there really didn't, it just made it a little bit, you can see like the more pieces in there, but this is good. So all I'm gonna do, I just turn it down to warm. I'm gonna pour heavy cream in here, about half of this. You know what I can do with that heavy cream is make me some whipped topping for my coffee in the morning. So this is it, this is dinner. You can thicken it with potato flakes. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna leave it this way. And then I'm gonna serve it with these, because we have a lot of these. I got these at the discount store, greatest things ever. Awesome. I had a person send it to me from Israel. Greatest things, and they're good. They're like wheat flour, sunflower oil, salt, turmeric, extract, that's it. And these are so, so good. And I have, look at, I've got like four up there. So we have plenty of those, we need to use those. So we're gonna use that tonight. So this is it, soup is done, delicious. And then all I have to do is heat up my two pans of sliders. So I'm gonna make this whipped cream up. All right, so actually you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put on my list for Friday. Friday's gonna be my gather at my fragments day. Look at, it is just raining. Oh my goodness, it has not stopped all day. What a rainy day. So Friday, anyways, Friday is going to be my, I'm going to call it my gather up your fragments because it'll be like beginning of the weekend and it's going to be when I'm going to prepare food for the summer. That'll be in this warm weather here. I won't do my freezer meals right now because I don't need to in my life. So I'm thinking that will be something we'll call fragment Fridays or something like gather your fragment Fridays. So every Friday we'll do something like that. So, all right, I'm going to go in. I got to go to school with autumn rain and <sighs> there'll be no park today. It will have to be a treadmill day. All right, it's doing nothing outside but raining. It is just light, misting rain. So, the boys are awful busy. Boys have a lot of energy. Oh yes, they do. <laughs> so, for a mama that's trying to get some stuff done, I was like, hmm, they need something doing to get out. So we're gonna go drive and see if the park is free. I don't know if it is. And if not, we're just take the boys to the shop. They can run around the shop for a little bit. So we're gonna go do that. I'm sure Greg love having them run around. A little bit more open space. They can paint, they can do their swords. And you saw Steven's big giant Captain America sword, right? That's the garbage can lid. <laughs> it wasn't a garbage can lid, but he got it from somebody, but it, uh, he just painted it and it's just loud. So I think we're gonna go do that. Get them out, take them out a little bit, get them running. And then they can go over there and play for a little bit and then we'll come back and I can work on filming, editing a little bit and then uh, go pick them up after I'm done. That sounds like a good idea to me. So sometimes you gotta do that. Days you can, that's what we're gonna do. We, we were driving and it was like pouring rain and I'm like, oh yeah, no park. And then Maddie's like, I wanna go. So it's like not even that bad. So we're just gonna do a little walk. We're gonna do a little walk, get little kids out and then, then we'll head back home. All right, we got a little bit of walk in, about a half hour so kids are tired. So I'm gonna go drop them off and then go home and I'll go Yay. do some work Look tonight. at that. We came home and look, it's stuff raining. It's a miracle. <laughs> I had to laugh, I was like, but when we were driving, you saw what it was looking like, right? It was very, uh, very rainy and then we got to the park and it was just misting and I'm like okay we dropped the boys off we we're driving back home it's done raining I'm like okay I guess we ended it too quickly that's okay so what I'll do tonight is do my treadmill I'm trying to focus on doing a good hour 45 minutes to an hour five days a week I know but this mama's gotta move <sighs> no complacency it's the uh <laughs> if you, you got to suffer because you, you put on the pounds and you got to work a little bit harder so then you don't have to work as hard after that so Think of it as a suffering when you gotta work extra hard. I know it's bad. So I've been doing my um, exercise, been doing my drinks, stuff like that, and that's helping the weight's coming off, feeling good, which is good, but I just have to keep on it. So I just know I have to go back in and do another walk. So what I'm gonna do tonight, I wanna talk, cause I didn't even talk today at all. It's just been a busy day. 
Wednesdays are just kind of a whatever day. There's not a whole lot going on. It's rainy and it's kind of like, eh, what are you gonna do? You know I mean? We're not going anywhere, everybody's home. We got a lot of school done, which was good. I feel really good about school. Got a lot of our review for the summer done. I'm like, okay, I feel, I feel like stuff sticking out. I feel like it was a good day. Like I was a normal be stay at home mom today because um, it's busy, it's busy filming all that. And I love doing it, I absolutely love it. But today was a good like, okay, I get to focus on what my, my first priority is my kids, you know what I mean? And, and being a stay at home mom, that kind of thing. So I was really glad for that. That made me like, okay, this is good. I just need to structure my day out differently. I did a lot of their school in the morning, but I'm filming in the morning, so it just kind of rushed all together. So I'm like, I just need to make this work. So that's what today was all about. And I'm like, okay, I feel good like this. So now we're gonna go inside. Jane's gonna mix up our, we're gonna do, um, I just took one pan, put in the refrigerator. The other pan we'll have, there's only the two girls here, just two girls, Maddie and Autumn and Jane, and just three girls. There's three girls here and that's it. Evan's at work, Lauren's at work, Brooklyn's with Lauren. The boys are at the shop, so it's just us. It's just easy. So it's just gonna be the three of us, four of us, sorry, four of us having sliders and soup. It's an easy night. I'm like, I can do this. It's easy. So Jane's going to make the little, Maddie likes the buttery, sugary um, topping. Autumn does not. So she said she'd make that real quick for me in there. And I'll come out here and talk for a few minutes because what I'll do is show the food and then end the video. Does that sound good? We'll do a little opposite here. So so it's been good. I'm excited. It's a good week. We've got something tomorrow is going to be homemaking with Amy. I'm not sure what we're going to do yet, but I do know we're going to do something fun. Hopefully with Lauren. I think Lauren's going to be here. We're going to do something fun that we've never done. You ever hear of the, the juicing craze? Yeah, like the juicing craze. We're gonna, Lauren's been buying them, drinking them, and so had the opportunity to get a juicer for her. So we're gonna try it and see how it works. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm like, yeah, she, I'm like, she's like, Mom, don't you wanna do the juicer? I'm like, whatever. I don't know. I'd like to try it. I'd like to see, like today, Evan had matcha tea. Is that how you say it? He went to an Asian market and found like all these hot. He loves ramen. I know. He's, he's a young adult there. Loves ramen. Loves it. Gets a spicy kind. Well, they went to there's a uh, Asian market here and he went in. He was so excited. They had like the world's hottest or the hottest ramen ever. It was super hot. So <laughs> then we did like Google and watch YouTube videos. The kids are like, yeah, we watch these all the time. And so Jensen had some. Jensen likes my hot stuff and he actually did pretty good with it. I was like, go Jensen. So that just led to watching videos on, you know, the Carolina, I think it's Carolina Reaper is the world's hottest pepper all these things and I'm like okay so then he bought some matcha tea and so I'm like I've heard of it it's all the craze I just never thought is that good or not I don't like tea is not my favorite I'll drink it but I just don't love it so it's kind of like eh, it's okay it tastes like just water watery down leaves so I like my coffee I like that uh, you know I'll drink like a flavored tea like watermelon tea that's good and so we had the, had the matcha it's good it's just more like it was warm so it was okay I'm just like eh, I wouldn't drink it and buy it but it was at least I tried it and I feel good to try it so that's a good thing so we just it's just been a day like that got to talk to him see what's going on talk with Lauren you know catch up with the kids have conversations all those good things as a parent it's good to do when you're busy at home and you're doing a lot if you're running a business and you're homeschooling you're doing all those things you just got to make sure and then you got a large family on top of it you got to make sure that you invest in those times with your kids even though you're home you can definitely not be there you know you can definitely not be there for them then what's the point of being home so it's good to be able to like spend some moments with them and talk and spend some time with them bonding and spend some time like you know connecting and like you know finding out things about the kids like so those are all good things to do moms sometimes it's hard i know when you're working and it's tough and it's just you i get it so doing those things spending those moments getting those in there even though you're tired even though it's like oh, okay getting them in there is so important to do that so what i'm going to do now is go inside finish up dinner, have a bowl of soup, and then um, I'm going to work on editing this video for today. And then tomorrow will be a whole nother day. Tomorrow's our Thursday. We're excited we get to go to our church, so I'm excited for that. So the kids are super excited. So that'll be the first time our church will get to meet. So we'll be doing that tomorrow night. We're having a Thursday service and a Sunday, so we're going to go to Thursday. Um, something different, but it'll be a good time. So, all right, let's go back inside. No more rain out here, thank goodness, to bring my phone here. All right, I'm going to bring my, my camera here. So, yeah crazy rain just so much rain so much rain it's like can it rain anymore oh it can rain some more it doesn't even show let up till next week so that's okay hopefully a few more weeks and that rain will go and get gone and sunshine will come out and the pool will be ready is what i'm hoping for so all right let's go in and go see how dinner's going all right Jaden, since you didn't share with us what you did what'd you do i <laughs> made stuff that goes on top of slider I put your face on sure okay there she is <laughs> I always gotta ask. She uh -huh. made stuff to go on top of sliders. We put yes. butter and butter, garlic, garlic, brown smells good. sugar, and some mustard. Look at that and, and melted butter. And Maddie has one, and she wants Jane to put that on her. Yes. So you can just have one slider. I'm gonna have a more. Okay, good. So that looks good. So we're just gonna wipe it on. Soup looks good. Let's see. Soup over here. 
Everybody's got to have some soup. Where's my spatula? All right, soup's right here. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. Can I, paint? Can I paint it on? I like painting. Look at that. There's soup. We're gonna have this tonight with some little croutons. Let me get a bowl. You're welcome. All right, there's one. That's Autumn's bowl. Autumn, there you go. <laughs> Grab a spoon, Maddie. I want some, yep, I'll get you some. So here's Maddie. I like that kind. Yeah, this is good soup, isn't it? Good little soup in here. Yeah. What's in these? Oh, look at that. These are so good. I got them for two. They were nine on Amazon. All right, so these are it. Find yourself some of these awesome croutons. I bought this on Amazon for like six bucks, but then I found the discount scale for two. So great. Delicious, delicious. They are so good. All right, there's my dinner right there. Delicious. We're going to have some soup here. And then we're going to close. What's that? Yeah, I know I do sliders. Oh, what's on the floor over there? Oh. Hey, oh. sticky note that you Maxine, made. Maxine, you ate a sticky note. Did it come from mommy's like, Oh, there's, what did she literally go eat my sticky note? Taking over and Did you eat my sticky note? Did you tell? Maxine, <laughs> did you eat my sticky note? She's like, what, mommy? I didn't mean to. She's like, you didn't take me to the park. Look at her, she's like, I'm mad. Did you not go to the park? I'm sorry, it was just wet. You'll be all wet. There's too many doggies there. She's like, I'm good. That's so funny. All right. We're gonna go, Maxine. All right, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go finish, eat some soup up, and then work. The kids are gonna play a little bit, and we're gonna play some games tonight, Dutch Blitz. We're back on Dutch Blitz, because that's way fun. And then uh, work on editing videos for, video for tonight. So it's gonna be good. All right, so you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Even if it's just a boring Wednesday, whatever, you can make the best of it, and it can be a fantastic day. It can. What's that? Like, like every day, because every day is the same for everybody, right? Yeah. Why? Any day can be a fantastic day, you just cut it there. <laughs> Jane's trying to get me to, to fix my vlogging skills. She's like, redo that, Mom. And she's like, say, any day can be a fantastic day. And then cut it right there. That would be dramatic, wouldn't it? Can I do it? Jane, I feel like I just ruined it. I should, I should do that. That's just not me, but I should do it. So I'm going to say, any day can be a fantastic day. Then cut it. I just can't do it. I feel like I'm without saying goodbye. Any day can be a fantastic day. And then have like an end scene of credit or whatever you do. Okay, I don't know. So, uh, yeah. okay. so any day can be a fantastic bye. day. Bye. No. I have to say bye. Because somebody believes in you. Bye. Because someone end believes in you and then end it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> My kids are way better than I am. <laughs> All right, we're going to go. Have a great day. Bye.